everybody, it's Bridget again and OB here for another training video. This is part two of training with the Halty head collar. And so OB has been exposed to this now for, uh, I guess this is about his 10th time. And so we're gonna try to take it to another level. Um, but first we always start out with the basics. We start out with what the dog is comfortable with first before challenging them to go to the next step. So we're just gonna repeat the exercises you saw in the previous video. Disclaimer too, this is best accomplished inside, indoors where there are no distractions. We're outdoors, it was just such a nice day and we were outside playing, so I decided to turn it into a training lesson. But there are a lot of distractions out here which might not be um, you know, as good for your dog to learn. You might find yourself chasing after your dog more than training. So that's just something to keep in mind. All right, you ready? So again, just gonna present the head collar to him, wait for him to approach it. I'm not gonna force it on him. I'm gonna try not to move it toward him in any way as that could startle him. Um, I'm gonna let him choose to approach it or not. Good boy. So I have actually gotten to the level with him where I know that he's comfortable with me putting it on him. So I'm actually going to see if he'll put his nose all the way through and then I'll reward him for putting his nose through all by himself. And if your dog doesn't want to do this at first, if they're reluctant to, you can use a treat to kind of lure their nose through. Job, just like that. Very good. All right. You want to try again? Good job. All right. Good boy. Now we're gonna take this to the next step, and we're gonna try to buckle it around his head. And I have done this before with him. I know he's not gonna react aggressively or anything like that. But when you go ahead and do this, you want to make sure you have extra special treats on you and you're just gonna we're gonna keep it quick and maybe not even fasten it the first time as some dogs could be maybe startled of that clicking sound of the buckle but just you know kind of hold it in back of their head for just a brief second that way they get used to the feeling of it tightening behind their head so let's try that so ready job and we reward him while it's on him and then we take it right off good job so that would be the next step so you would practice that with your dog to the point where you can eventually get them to buckle um, to tolerate it being buckled behind their head so you buckle it and then reward them and then take it off and kind of increase the duration then maybe wait two seconds before unbuckling it and take it off three seconds before unbuckling and take it off and just kind of build your dog's um, tolerance to it that way. And, um, and then, if, as always, if your dog shows any signs of you know, fear or aggression toward the collar, we wanna back up, we wanna back off, end the training session right there, maybe do a few tricks to keep it positive and fun, and then try again another day and just go back to the basics. But we're gonna try one more thing. I have, again, I have tried this with Obi before, and so I know he'll tolerate it. So I'm gonna put the head collar on him, and then, whoop, here, bud. I know, I know, lots of stuff. I'm gonna put the head collar on him, and then fasten the leash to it, and we'll see how he reacts. That's it, good boy, ready? And it has this nice, handy little buckle if you wanna come closer. This buckle is a nice safety feature on this halty collar where you can attach it to your dog's regular collar. Um, that way if it comes loose on a walk, sometimes uh, dogs can find a way to wriggle out of this head collar. Um, that way at least your dog isn't completely loose, they're still secured by their collar until you can get the dog under control. Good job, you're doing so well. You are doing so well. That's right.
There you go. So I have extra special treats for him. And for when he has the collar totally buckled and fastened, I get some carrots. He loves those. He loves those, right? All right. And then the next step after you get it to this point would be to get your dog acclimated to being to the collar being tugged on. So just you know, tug a little bit here and there. Good job. Not doing anything too fancy or stressful. Just getting him used to that tension on the collar. Okay, you're all done. Good job. You did so well. Good boy. Here you go. You did very good. So that's all we have for you today. I will probably make one more training video when we put it all together and once he gets used to the idea of being walked on the head collar. So I'll be working with him in the meantime. You work with your dog too in the meantime and contact me, message me if you have any questions. Hope to see you soon.